Hi, Hello. everybody. Welcome like to... A little jumpy there, huh, Froggy? I can't see. Let's Welcome get, to... Get, you're too tall. Ah, okay. Look at that. Welcome to our <laughs> humble abode. Stop we didn't moving. get our selfie stick yet. No. And, you know, you keep it... Hey. There you go. All right, so welcome to our humble abode. Who was the guy in the comments that said he wanted us to do our record collection? What was know. his name? We should give him know. a shout out. I don't know, but... Right, pause, we'll find out. So, this uh, is shout out to uh, Punk Rock Prom Queen 13 on YouTube, yo. For yes. the suggestion of uh, including you, some record collection shoes. You inspired us for... Uh, Chesty Malone vlog number three. That's vlog. Three. Vlog number three. Oh, Hank three. What Hank. happened to Hank three? I don't know. Hank three totally disappeared, which Love makes Hank me really three. sad. I hope he's okay. Yeah, we've talked about We can go off tangent. Yeah. Whatever. So, I, uh, if he's like happy and cool, and that, then that's all good. But if something bad happened and that's why he disappeared, that sucks. Hope you're all right out there, dude. You're okay, Hank three. We love you. Yeah. You know who else disappeared? I actually liked his solo album, even though I thought the gang should have stayed together. But that Joe Buck Yourself stuff was really good, Oh, you too. know what? He, he's on Facebook now. Is he? Just today, uh, what's his ass from uh, Anti-Scene reposted, shared his uh, his thing. He's taking care of his 90-something-year-old mom right now, but he's going to... He's still there, and he's he's gonna get back to it. So that's good. That's good. Joe okay. Buck yourself. Joe Buck, get back with Hank Three. That was the best I mean, thing. I that that'll happen, but um, you know his solo stuff was good too. It was. That's what I just said. I said his solo stuff was really good, and he disappeared as well. I try not to listen. I know you don't listen. So yeah. Welcome to our living room. Would yeah. you like a tour? We could do a little tour of our humble abode. You know, we should have started this like when Danzig shows his book collection. Well, you should go, be, it'd have hi. To be at night and we'd have to have candles. You should say, hi. Hello. I'm... Welcome to my uh, record collection. But I mean, it's not like evil unless it's dark with candles. It's true. I'm going to start with the last record I actually listened to, which is uh, Ice Cube, War and Peace, Volume 1, The War Disc. This is a good record. This was always really annoying. Look, like he's got black metal Alice Cooper at makeup. He does. That is a good record. Yeah. And, I like uh, that record. Smells good. On, uh, still on Priority Records at that point. And nobody liked this record. It came out in 98. And nobody cared. I like that Latter Day stuff. Well, like, uh, not everything. But not everything, really but that but one's piece, really... The Volume 2, the Peace record, was not that good. But this one is really good. There's some really good songs on here. You know how I figured out the M's in our collection? The Bob Marley box set. You know what? I'll show you that. Too. Not that I'm some huge Bob Marley head, but I like reggae a lot. I think we both do, right? Yeah. So this is actually yeah. cool. A lot of people probably remember the Bob Marley box set on CD from the 90s. But this is a Jamaican press on vinyl. It's got a lot of cool stuff. Book. Blah blah blah. But uh no, it's cool. What the, my favorite part of this record is there's a there's a whole side of acoustic demos that he made. It's just him and acoustic guitar singing in, with him and acoustic guitar like in his room or something. That's pretty cool. And this is really cool here. The problem with Jamaican pressings of a lot of records, I have uh, a couple other reggae records that come directly from Jamaica, and sometimes the, uh, they don't sound that good mm. for some reason. But you don't have a Jamaican record player. <laughs> if I had a Jamaican record player, <laughs> that would make all the difference in the world. So, if anyone wants to send us a Jamaican record player to try this out, <laughs> but, so that's how I determine where the M section is of uh, our record collection. Uh, you know what? I was actually going to buy grab the "Murder Was the Case" soundtrack, but that's actually going to be in the soundtrack section. So, so fuck it. it. You know what I'm going to start with? Well, I already started, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna <laughs> to show you know what you you're going to continue with? One of the first records I ever bought, and I still have that copy. This is absolutely the first punk record I ever bought. I was uh, the summer between 7th and 8th grade. The first Clash album, U.S. Yeah, still hanging in there. Still sounds great. How's it smelling? He sniffs his oh, records, yeah, and I think yeah. it's really weird. He so, also uh, sniffs books and other things, and I don't understand <laughs> the sniffing. Things. He's a um, sniffer. Yeah, record 
records smell good. Everybody knows that. Anyone who's a real record collector knows records smell really good. You should do a uh, ranking of best smelling records. Well, you know what? Because there are. Because this has that old musty smell. I bought this, like I said, when I, I was like, what is that, like 13? So that was like, what, 10 years ago? <laughs> totally. Uh, so um, old totally. records smell really good, too. And uh, but then new records have this really good printing smell. And you know, another record I bought right around that same time. And that's going to be... All right. Where are you? W. Uh-huh. Okay. This. X. This is also the copy that I bought in the same two-week span of when I bought that Clash record. One of our kids going to the corner on this, so that's always really cool to it's have It's the kids. joys of having children. Yeah. Kids Your good. stuff's going to get ruined. Yeah. Goodbye, <laughs> stuff. This one's really good. <laughs> and I'll tell you the truth, too. I bought this. I was a real serious Doors fan when I was like 12, 13, I was in seventh grade. Ten years ago? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So Ray Manzarek not only produced this record, but he plays on it. Mm. So we played on their first three records, maybe four. I have mixed feelings about X, so I don't know everything. X are great. Yeah. But uh, maybe they're not progressive enough. Right? I just don't <laughs> like Xene's vocals at all. I think it would be a much better I band without about her. It. She's like she hates Xene's vocals. I think if it was just the dudes without her, it they'd be, be my X favorite band. Xene's vocals, obviously. But she sounds like a cat getting stepped on yeah, yeah. I mean, multiple it's times. Ah, oh, it's Angeles. Oh. If you know, they were doing a, a certain <laughs> harmony, but the notes weren't. That's always right. not a harmony. That's your uh, cat notes got were not stepped always on. Right. That's true. It's a pretty good one. This is uh, Danzig 4. 4P? Four I don't know. You know what these runes mean? They mean... Buy my record. Yeah, that's pretty much what they mean. <laughs> but uh, this is cool because it's, it's a great album. Um, but it's also cool because I got it from Erie Vaughn. Ooh. And... See there? And, oh, this is cool too. He sent a bunch of extra stuff. Joey C on drums, not Chuck Biscuits, but that's still pretty cool. Pretty Signed by cool. all four dudes. Uh, here's an Eerie 8 by 10. Mm -hmm. um, this was actually my stage pass from the Ritz. Um, yeah, what was that? 90? 89? Yeah, 89. And then this was, yeah, here, go ahead and get on that one. Um, and then this Erie included that. That still has a unstuck back. Nice. Yeah, this I actually had to unstick. I, I, I knew when they gave it to me, I I didn't want to unstick it, but they made me. So, whatever, but I still have it. Bastards. Yeah. Uh, so, I always thought these uh, Deaf American or American, whatever you want to call it, the labels looked really cool. Can I zoom in on that? They do. Yeah, and this is a really cool record. Here's another one of my all-time favorite records. And it's criminal that this thing is not in print anymore. And it was never repressed after it came out in 1983. Um, I also have the uh, poster. It was actually at the show at CBGB's where the bulk of these photos were taken. Look at this. That's cool. It is really cool. These are from CDs, you can tell, on the stage. And this. That's when uh, your mother saw them and called them the fat guys, It was right? my birthday in, in 1983, <laughs> and my mother dropped So for your first birthday, off. she took you to right. CBD. My brother, my, not my brother, my brother was there. Uh, my uncle and my mother dropped us off at CBGB's, and then they came back later to get us for dinner, and Necros were still playing. And my mother was horrified, if you want to zoom in on this picture. And then Barry's ass crack. Um, she was like, oh my God, they're fat. And my mother had no idea the concept of people that weren't good looking like Elvis Presley or Mick Jagger in a band was just like, it like actually kind of angered her. I think. <laughs> and, and like for years, she would say whenever the Necros would come up in any kind of conversation, oh, oh those are those fat guys. <laughs> but anyway. <laughs> Sorry, Necros, we still love you. <laughs> We named our Todd, son Barry. Todd was never fat. <laughs> yeah, um, Todd was never fat. Um, yeah. 
or Corey. But, uh, so it's criminal that this is out of print. And I post that sometimes online and people are like, oh, whatever, uh, too bad. And I'm like, it's not because, I'm not saying it needs to be back in print because I need a copy because I obviously have a copy. It's because the world needs a copy. Because it's criminal that, that this is not in print for the world. Yeah, it's true. This is it's a, a great fucking record, not everybody. Not a classic hardcore record. Mm -hmm. It's just a classic record. Let me see some of our seven inches. Yeah, whip it out. All right, here. You know what? Yeah, follow me around. Hey. Oh, <laughs> wait. Uh, this is cool. I honestly kind of wish that it was the original two songs from... The album. It's cool. We got that snazzy little action well, figure. Yeah, too. we'll show that too. This is cool though. Um, check out this vinyl. It's cool. Yeah, that's really pretty vinyl. It's party. From the Super 7. Um, it has the uh, Eliminator and Toxic Shock from uh, the Cause for Alarm Agnostic Front album. And it also oh. came with this guy. Oh, yeah. He is snazzy. Yeah, he's cool. Like him. So that's pretty cool. All right. So, oh, look at that. Who are these guys? Wow. <laughs> wow. That is the record of last year. Well, that, that was that's actually yeah. super cool. That was the, the hit. Hey, Levi. Ooh. Yeah, I don't know who these Sexy. good looking people are. But yeah. Hey, buddy. Some good looking people. Um, hmm. That and, uh, oh, geez, that's crazy. Whoa. Look at that. That was a purple vinyl. Huh? Those are nice. Yeah. Look and, at that! Uh, look at that lovely lady. Oh, right. That's fucking... Who could that be? I don't know. Yeah, there she is. Oh, yeah. Charming. It's a peach. Uh, two purples. I wanted to show mm. them. The green. Oh, check this guy's out. Pittsburgh. Iron City punk rock. Half life. Nice. Under the knife. That's pretty cool. Yeah. I well, you know what's cool about this. Anyone that was into Gearhead magazine or is still friends with. Uh, Mike Lavella, here, check out his nipple. <laughs> oh shit, yeah. Mike Lavella's nipple. Also, his sweet devil lock. That is a good name. devil lock, actually. He's not in the Misfits of Sam Hain, but he had a sweet that devil lock. That is an impressive yeah, devil lock. his nipple. Um, uh, awesome. Damon Che went on to Don Cab fame. We got Jeff Lamb. Vince, hopefully, Vince is like building books right now. I think that's what he does. Hmm. He looks like he could have been in Sam Hain as well. Iron City. Yeah, mm. they were good They were cool. We played with them a bunch of times back in the day. Um, we actually also discussed this record in my interview with Tom Lyle from Government Issue because he produced it. That's right. And where can people find these interviews of yours? On noecho.net. You can search a hardcore conversation and face. This was actually a really freaking cool record. I was really excited when I thought Sikowski this was going to be a real and Eugene band. Robinson. Yeah. Eugene. Eugene. It was supposed to be cool. It was a bunch of songs, supposedly, that Dukowski had left over. I recommend time. you look up that I Want to Kill You song. It's really cool. Yeah, it's all online. Uh, the vinyl's cool. Gray swirl. Swell. Black flag typeface. Get it? Ah. This was also, it was, you know, you got to be a little bit cynical, even though. Obviously, Eugene. But uh, this also came out after Off, which was clearly, you know, something right. like Black Flag. And then this. No way. Bands with different members start multiple <laughs> lineups at well, the same time. Right, but I mean, the type is the Black Flag. I know. But that's okay. It's okay. It's pretty cool. SOA, 7 inch. It's pretty cool. Um, that is pretty good. Somebody call Henry if you play drums. They need a drummer. So. <laughs> so, yeah. There's a phone number. Yeah. I bet it's still the same I, phone number. I bet you. Um, Actually, if there weren't cell phones, he seems like the kind of guy that would never change his phone number. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Probably right. Oh, here we go. That's pretty cool. Ooh. I hey, don't have the insert, but you know what? That's okay. Some people would be really bothered by that, but I'm not that kind of collector. <laughs> Um, got this guy too. Also, I don't think there was an insert in this one. If there was, maybe I'm wrong, but that's pretty cool. Mm hmm. Look at that. Look at that. Look at it. Look at it. That's yeah, cool. Big hole. You're a big hole. Still hanging out with you. <laughs> I never like big holes, but you know, whatever. I mean, who does? Right, nobody likes the big holes. Um, but yeah, that's a couple of those. You know, at one point I had every 
least one version of every Misfits 7-inch. And then happens. you blew it like a punk. It happens. I had to pay rent. I lived in California. At least I didn't go hang out on Santa Monica Boulevard for the rent. Um, Ew. That could happen. Uh, what do we got here? Oh, this one's cool. Erie Vines, hardcore band. Not bad, signed by Erie Vine. Uh, oh, this one's cool, some awesome puss head art. Speaking of the Necros. Oh yeah, this one's super cool. The art's awesome. Different version of uh, um, Conquest for Death, and then it has the uh, controversial Take Em Up. For some reason, the Necros felt very strongly <laughs> about the handicap taking their parking spaces. <laughs> Okay. Maybe they're yeah. just this very limited parking in Ohio, and they just uh. Yeah, you know. Yeah. Here's, this this is kind of painful. Cause this is a really cool record, but you know what happened? I actually I don't even know why I did this. I left it on my windowsill. That's stupid. And for some reason, I just left it there for months, and then it, so it went through a winter, and then where the windowsill had gotten like moist. And then when I picked it up, half of the cover stayed on the window, so. That's pretty bad. So that kind of sucks, but hey, that's a good record anyway. Here we have uh, Clash with Meat. Hmm. Uh, they, they fought the law, but, you know, we know how that goes. <laughs> I don't think it worked out. You know. And, uh, <laughs> but that's a good record, and even though that's a little painful. But there you go, there's an example. Of, take care of your records, yeah, don't leave them on the records. fucking window. Which cell. I do, you know, I had a lot of records from forever, but, you know, sometimes, sometimes, here's a good one. You know why this is doubly good? Uh, why? Spinal Tap reference, doubly. <laughs> anyway, but, uh, all right, first of all, Ill Repute, Oxnard, Nardcore. Land of No Toilets. This is a cool California early 80s hardcore 7 inch. Um, got a bunch of pictures. Blah, blah, blah. Hey, oh, nice clear vinyl. Ooh, that is nice clear vinyl. Classic Look hardcore early 80s band logo. IR. Uh, on Mystic Records. Um, oh, whatever. There's a lyric sheet. Probably. I'd, I would actually be willing to wager a bet that there's at least one picture of El Duce somewhere on this. I think that's probably a fair bet. But um, I, I actually purchased this from uh, purchased this from Jamie, the bass player of SSD. Oh. Selling a bunch of hardcore records on eBay in like 2002, two, three, maybe four. And he was selling them for basically nothing. That was a great time to be collecting records in the early 2000s. Wasn't a great time for him. If he was getting rid of his hardcore <laughs> records, I can only imagine. Sorry, dude. Yeah. I love this. Yeah, I got that and the uh, first JFA 7-inch from Jamie. Uh, there you go. Actually, speaking of which... That is a fun little record right there. That's a cool record. I Just enjoy this something one. on this, but I actually probably paid more like 30 bucks. It's still not. That's what I mean. I could save for the, the fucking ill repute. I, I didn't pay more than like 20 or 30 bucks for each, either one of those. And those are cool records. Um, do you know this man? They're probably still looking. I don't know. We'll let them know if anyone knows. I haven't seen them. Placebo Records. Probably the best skate band ever. Has anyone better? I Maybe agree. the big boys? Them and the big boys, I guess. I like them both. Mm hmm. Um. I can't think of any other great skate punk bands. I mean, I can think of them. <laughs> but I mean, are they good? I don't know. Um, it's kind of cool. But for whatever. Uh, I got a French pressing of the Sex Pistols 7-inch. Uh, yeah. Really? And I just ruined it. No. <laughs> it's okay. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, okay. It's okay. Um, yeah, so. Snazzy. Cool. Um, the back cover is the same as the front, so be really. It's pretty lazy. Went all out on that, but it's from some movie. Class and Fiend. I don't know what that means. I looked it up at first when I bought it. Another a big hole. You and your big holes. Yeah, right? um, 
I like that one. I'm not even a huge pistols guy, but I like them. You gotta like the sex pistols. Yeah, they have some oh, classic shit. hits. You can't stop rock and roll. Oh, Is that what it sounds like? You get it? Oh, they're on their badass. Oh, uh, the uh, they're so silly. So silly. Some wacky Long Islanders. Long Islanders. Yo. <laughs> I wonder if they were friends with Ron Rancid back then. I should ask him. You should have asked him. I should have. Maybe I'll... Hey, Ron, were you friends with Twisted Sister? <laughs> and then when you lie and say you watched every single one of his videos, I could say, no, you didn't because you didn't yeah. fucking answer me, bitch. Yeah, didn't. yeah. This is cool, especially the dude just passed away, the keyboard guy. Um, Stranglers, Barricade, just a cool record. Yes, yes. Yeah. Um, you know what? Are we even allowed to say what the name of the record is? So you can read it in case someone was like, that's not cool. <laughs> but that's what they called it themselves back in less uptight times. Just what are you going to do? Remember when punk was actually punk, everybody? Yeah, whatever. Someone's just going to get mad. Mm, what else is new? <laughs> Someone's going to get mad that we have a Patty Duke record. I don't really care. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's cool. Danzig covered this song, Action Woman, on his... Uh, Skeletons. Oh, it's wild 60s garage rock and roll. It's wild. Oh, it's wild. Yeah, I'm go. GI, not a first press, but you know. Still cool. Still cool. PhD records. Clear vinyl. I always like that clear vinyl. Oh, yeah, pretty it's nifty. Pretty snazzy. I like it. Hey, Levi, I like that clear vinyl. Yeah, we. <laughs> You know what, Malfus, kind of an overlooked band from the D.C. area, area, era, area, all that stuff. Yeah. This has, um, what's his ass from Hammers of Misfortune on here, John Cobbett. Cool artwork. Good yes, band. It is. Sort of void-like, noisy hardcore, with a slight metal tinge. Oh, man. That's a greedy right oh, there. Look at this one. Look at Stiv's balls. Don't get his band, but... Look at those balls. Look at them. Stiv's balls, everybody. Uh-oh. <laughs> it's hilarious if you haven't heard it. Yeah, it's, it's fucking the picture's better than the song. Actually. Yeah, it's yeah. still great. <laughs> it's good. Uh, one other classic. Awesome UK subs record. Oh, yeah. There they are, folks. Hi, guys. Uh, <laughs> red vinyl. You know, a lot of red vinyl in the world, but that's okay. Uh, what else do we got? Just thumbing through this stuff. Thumbing on through. Uh, speaking of Hank 3, you know, for some reason, I don't think he really made covers for these. But, uh, Hellbilly. So and, uh, get that side B, but that's okay. And, uh, Life well, those are soon. such good songs, though. Good stuff, yeah. Those are great. Good, good stuff. And, uh, well, this one's another classic. Yeah. One of my favorite songs. Yeah, that's a good one. That's a cover, though. He didn't, he didn't write this song. Still really freaking good, this though, there. Weird. This is actually two bands. Uh, these right. poor bastards do the song, too. I don't know who they are. I don't know who they are, either. Well, Still a great album. song, everybody. Yeah. That's a good one. That's one of my great albums, too. Uh, mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, anything you want to pick up and talk about? Feel free. Mm -hmm. I'm right now, I'm man and Cam reading it. Oh, this is actually this is awesome. Because you know what? Did you know the village people were actually pretty fucking punk? Well, they were more like new wave, new but, romantic, but that food fight is punk. a punk song. Yeah, yeah that's look a total it up. Punk Maybe we'll throw you a link to the. Yeah. Look at that guy. He's all, hey, everybody. <laughs> I mean, I don't even know if these are the original dudes. Who would know? Like, Where's the Indian? He's not there. Uh, that might be the Where's Indian. the Native American, I mean? That might be him. I don't think so. Where's the construction worker? Oh, there's the leather. That's guy. the leather boy. Yeah. That's the. I remember him. Well, uh, is that the cop? I think that's the cop. Who are he you? He could be the Indian. He's not the Indian. I think he's the Indian. I'm not look at him. Look at the face. He doesn't look Indian. I don't think he was anyway. I think he was Puerto Rican. <laughs> I think he was too, but I still don't think that's him. <laughs> hey, are all those guys still cool. alive? Uh, actually, I don't know about that. Hmm. They're not, they're not together. What's that movie? One dude has the rights into one, I think, uh, the, the construction worker. What's that movie that rules that they're in? <laughs> the... <laughs> I think they were only in one movie. What was that movie? Uh, just can't Stop the Music. Oh my God, Can't Stop the Music, everybody. It's hilarious. It's awesome. Oh my God. There's kind of a cool one, the 101ers. That's Joe Strummer's band before The Clash, if you didn't know. 
It's good stuff. Pretty cool. I mean, the Clash was better, obviously. Oh, that's um, why. Sweet Revenge. Rabies from the Dogs of Love. It's about herpes. <laughs> <laughs> so, what else? What are you going to do? Write a song about herpes. What happens? Oh, here's cool. It's not, like, vintage, I guess. It's from, like, 20 years ago. But this is uh, Alice Cooper before they were Alice Cooper. Yeah, this is cool. You can recognize him. Yep. Here he is. Yep, yep. Um, well, yeah, you know what? It's the rest of the dudes, too. Is uh, it? At least I didn't Glenn know. Buxton and Dennis Dunaway. Oh, right okay. Here. Yeah, check it out. Hmm. The spiders. The spiders. <laughs> I said this one's spiders. Okay. So. Got you. That's okay. That's obviously a goodie. Oh, yeah. I don't have my seven inches in alphabetical order. I just could never. It's too annoying. I started at least trying to put like all the bands that have multiple seven inches, you know, at least together in case I ever do decide to. This is cool. Black Leather Lagoon and uh, what's on side too? It's a cool picture. That's a great picture. Ivy in a Black Lagoon. Yeah, yeah. Um, that one's cool. Uh, this one's a good one too. I got Big Black Witchcraft Rock seven inch. Another cool picture. She's doing the uh, Aloha uh, or whatever. That's the I love you for deaf people. Yeah, okay, yeah. That's what it is. <laughs> I learned that from the deaf lady. Yeah. Is she wearing orange underwear or no underwear? I can't really uh, Let's see. Huh. I always thought she was wearing no underwear, but now that you pointed out the orange, I'm confused. Yeah, Maybe she color. just has a like reverse spray tan or something. <laughs> <laughs> I only want to tan my oh, cooch. Vengeance Records, that was uh. their label, in case people didn't know. Lots of red vinyl in the world, but I still like it. Oh, this one's cool. Oh, yeah. That one's <laughs> hilarious. Yeah. The amazing the going around. Music here. from 2000 Maniacs. I'm going to try yeah. um, It's cool. Check this out. Also. That's cool graphics. Yeah, those are cool. Smog Veil. Um, it's not. It's like a five inch. Check this out. Weird. Oh, yeah. It's a weird itsy bitsy record. It's on certain turntables that I've had, it won't play because it tries to cut it off. Yeah. It plays like, you know. Yeah, that's, cool. that's very cool. Like the blood splatter yeah. vinyl. So that's pretty cool, actually. Um, five inch. I mean, why wouldn't you just make a seven inch? It's got to be different. <laughs> DD solo stuff doesn't get any credit at all. So that's good. I cool. love solo DD. Operon's actually cool. Yeah, it I'm is. Going to lose as a cover, but uh, mm. Operon's good song. Very cool. Yeah. yeah this is OG copy of this. Both songs are on the album. But oh, yeah. yeah. Here's one of my personal favorites, everybody. That's cool. Oh, my goodness. The Whatever Butch Happened Patrick. to Eddie 7 what Inch. Happened? Little the Monsters. Boy from Mockingbird Lane. Who's in his band? Anybody? I don't know. Worth putting my glasses on for? Do you know Patty? <laughs> you might. I don't know. Let's see. We have Butch Patrick sings and plays bass. Hmm. And then we have. Brent Black on guitar. Okay. <laughs> this is called Mr. Reek Havoc. Oh, um, that's a pretty electronic. punk name. Electronic. Differentiate. You didn't just play regular acoustic percussion. You electronic percussion. Keyboards by Steve. Is Patrick. that like his brother? I wonder if it's his brother. Yeah. Or his dad. Yeah, maybe it's his dad. <laughs> Come here, son. <laughs> I'll show you how to rock. Rockshire Records. That's a really cool. It's a fun one if you haven't heard it. Yeah. It's pretty cool. It's actually, it's a cover of, it's a record of covers of songs that she was known for and sang, but she's actually not on it. I don't yeah. really know who any of these people it's are. still cool, though. But, yeah. Fun little item. Oh, this is cool. I don't see the that. Bubble oh, yeah. Swirl. It is pretty. Pretty for Patty. Oh, look at that one. Aw. Like little Patty Duke. Duke. Yeah. Boobies, boobies, boobies. Yeah, who needs them? I do. <laughs> So she said she was tired of her own boobs. I know, I see. That one's cool. Cool artwork by Dancy. Uh, oh, here you go. This is a promotional only. With uh, Locked Out and Back to With Bush Driven, which is actually kind of a hardcore song that Big Chief did. It wasn't on the record. Mm, more red vinyl. Paid for by the devil. The devil! Oh, that's evil. It's pretty evil. If I ever get to interview Barry, I'll have to ask him how they got the devil to pay for it. If he got involved, I mean, that's pretty serious. I mean, if you get the devil to pay for it, like, you can't write things on records on that true. <laughs> that's true. So hmm. I'm check this out, too. 
Lou Reed, all tomorrow's dance picture. parties. It says yearbook picture, high school. Mm -hmm. Little baby Lou. Uh, the shades. Mm -hmm. The shades. Uh, cool. I wonder how many bands were called The Shades. Here's another Over baby. Years. Oh, so cool, yeah. oh and then there's our uh, cool little Venom. Like these guys. Some, yeah. Well, man, which, you go down to Man, which. Hi. Say hi, Man, which. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> This is a good record. These guys, this is on Get Hip Records out of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Um, Authorities. They had that song on the uh, Copulation that's all great Mystic too. Records comp. What's that one on here? That's awesome. I hate cops. Yeah, the Shot in the Head's a really good song. Shot in the Head. That was on something else, too, because I'd heard that before. And that was, these guys were really good. I don't know. I don't really know their whole story from Modesto, California. Uh, I have one of their. They had, Get Hip also re released uh, the whole album. Good band, really good hardcore, and they could actually play and had good production, which was rare in the beginning of that kind of thing. Oh. If anyone out there wants to sponsor, you know, hey, try my beer, I'm willing to do so on camera and talk about it. Me too. Yes. Any drinkable product. Mm -hmm. mm. Doesn't have to be beer. Um, here's another good, cool record. Look at this. So cool. A lot of people, a who, a lot of people who pay attention know that Ren and Stimpy was actually a pretty big influence on early Chesty Malone material. And yes, it was. Including my last name, mm -hmm. Moick. Oh, look at that. That's not even yellow. That's like a gold. Uh, Ooh. That. That's cool. Look at you. That's perfect. I'll teach your grandmother to suck eggs. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. Cool looking, yeah. It's such a cool yeah. record. I'm happy so we have that. This them. has the kilted Yaxman anthem and uh, Happy Happy Joy Joy, Dog Pound Hot. This is a good record. Yep. Bow Wow Wow. Oh, oh yeah, me too. That's cool. We're big Bow Wow Wow guys, if you didn't know. Yeah. I used to actually have this record cover hanging up on my wall when I was like 14. Love you, Annabella. <laughs> yeah, she was cool. Uh, stuff. These are cool. The Stu Bader's Power Pop records. Yeah, those are cool. A few of these. I read this guy's book. I can't remember his name. Um, that guy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you know, this was not a good phase for them. That's when your blood pumps. And <laughs> sad eyed people. Sad eyed. Not so good. This isn't either. It's a cool graphic. It is I a cool guess. graphic, yeah. though. Price of admission. Um, good stuff. SLF. Dead spot. Philly Brubaker was their manager. Uh, I like Brubaker. Uh, no. um, this is this is cool. Check this out. Um, this is maybe not legal. Oh, I don't know. Mm -hmm. But it's really well cool made. It's a uh, um, Slide in the Blues and uh, Lost in the Future, which are the bonus tracks from the um, late 90s Funhouse box set. Mm. And it's cool. It's cool graphics. Whoever made this did a really good job because also they also made an electric label. Oh, it's another cool one of those orange, orange vinyls. Yeah. It looks really cool. It's very nice illegal record there, guys. Yeah. That's really cool. Now you're going to get arrested. Cool one, I know. Contraband. I don't really like bootlegs too much, but this is really cool. <clears throat> so, there you go, everybody. Don't sit me. I didn't make it. I just bought it. <laughs> um, That's what you said about that bag of drugs, too. I didn't make it. I just bought it, okay? <laughs> yeah, buy drugs. I know. <laughs> um, Stay clean, kids. <laughs> Jesus is watching you. That's right. Over here. Yes, actually, yeah. He watches. It's crazy eyed Jesus. Jesus. Wherever you are in Rome or in the world. Jesus. How can you shake hands with Jesus when you're busy masturbating? That's what I always say. Yeah. This one's legit. It's really cool. It's like outtakes of those two tunes. Cool picture on the back. Yes, yes. Um, <laughs> kids a little bastard. We watched that movie a couple years ago, and I haven't really seen it. And I was all like, "Kids a little bastard." Yeah, Channel Three, it's good. Okay. Yeah. I like that. 
<laughs> Brace of wheels. Kind of silly. But burn good. down. You burn them down. Burn. Kids don't care about books or rules. <laughs> All they want to do is burn the schools. So, <laughs> gotta right. burn. Burn. <laughs> burn them down. Yeah, you know what? <laughs> Whatever. Sometimes you just gotta burn them down. Sometimes. Takes off time. Fugazi sandwiches. You know, I like Fugazi. I love mine as rat. Fugazi, they just didn't stand the test of time for me. Yeah. I have all their records, but, you know. Oh, this is cool. Social D. Um, cold Feelings promo 7 inch, but the back is a live uh, acoustic bad luck from some record store, in store that they did. Snazzy. Cool. Yeah. Uh, the biz. Love biz. <laughs> like Love you, biz. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is cool. Yep, little, little Nell. Nell. Playing in a little kitty pool. That Nell's so waggy. Mm -hmm. yeah, this is our friends Rob and Sean. Oh, yeah. Brick house. Yo. Reissue of it. Still a good record, obviously. Mm hmm. Yeah. Uh, monks are a cool band. Olivia Newton John. <laughs> we're just randomly sitting there on the cover. Apparently, we found that on a street or something. Uh, we're like, sure. Uh, this I actually have had since it came out. That was my copy. Old school. Yeah, good stuff. Let's check it out. Cool artwork. Quarter of Fun City. There's a fun fact. Fun City Studios was a great studio on the Lower East Side or the East Village, whatever you want to really say. And my old band, we recorded there. Mm. Never put it out, but we did record it. At that place Fun was cool. City. One of the last like analog studios in New York City, and it's long gone anyway. But uh, Blast First Records it says who did the photos. I'm sure it was Gina who did the artwork because she did all their artwork pretty much. Cool little gatefold. Yeah. Hot dogs for some reason. And bugs. And meat. Hot dogs, Punk. bugs, and meat. And a, is that a squid? That's a squid. One of the names was squid. Mm -hmm. right? Yeah. right there. Right there. <laughs> is that a steak or something? What is that? It appears to be. See, this is annoying. Look at this. I did not mistreat this record. I just opened the gatefold for the first time in years. And it has apparently stuck to itself. Somebody peed on it. Uh -huh. Somebody must have peed on it. That's really annoying. How many of these which, which five wait, wait, wait. ladies are or were going to be in the reunion? Do you know? Is it is it really an OG it's, lineup? From what I saw, it's everyone but Cindy. Who, what did she do? She was second guitar. And they just were like, fuck it, we don't need her anymore? I don't know. I really liked her. I don't know why she's not doing it. But uh, the pictures I saw, she was not in them. Everybody. Everyday dollars. This is cool. Let's check it out. Let's check it out. Oh, yeah. Minty fresh. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's cool. Should have been money colored. Oh, I did these labels. Nice. I'm glad I pulled this out. Oh, I yeah. made the uh, black flag beer bottle thing reference. Look at that. Some bone art for you. Yeah. I didn't do that, but, yeah, but I did the black flag beer bottles. Everyday Dollars was a good band. Yeah. They're still good buddies with that crew of folks. Dudes. Dudeskies. Unfortunately, one of those dudes is in jail somewhere in Texas. Mm, yeah. What happens? What are you going to do? Jesse James, everybody. Oh, my God. Cool artwork. Uh, Javi somebody? I can't remember. Spinnick? Spicknick? Spinkick? Here's a true story for Chesty hey, fanatics that uh, for a while when I was... Classic song, Lick My Balls. It's good stuff. Yeah. Anyway. I always thought he was hilarious. He was funny. Um, but, uh... You know, For a while, I was stalking this gentleman here, and uh, his band was always playing of Jesse James. So the well, girls, the yeah. girls I was hanging out with, refused to go because they were super offended by Jesse oh. James. And I was like, Jesse James is hilarious, and you have a dead boy's patch on your backpack. So say. why are you offended by Jesse the James? Main... And uh, they were like, we're not going to show. So I didn't go either because I was like, I'm not going to go. But I'm sorry, but... the, the main <laughs> offender of the people that were saying that was this broad who had a dead boy's. And it actually said, caught with a meat in your mouth on the back. It was specifically, that's yeah. what it said. And I was like. <laughs> but you're offended by Jesse okay. James' acoustic I onslaught. Mean, I mean, I don't think the dead boys need a pass, but you, they get a pass from you. But lick my balls is not. Okay, whatever. Whatever. You know, Manwich thinks that's hey, bullshit. Manwich, hi, Manwich. Hey, look, let's say hi to Manwich. Hi. Manwich. Hi. There he is. <laughs>
Fame series. They're in the Whoa. Neat Records Hall of Fame, Venom. Oh my God, they're in a Hall of Fame? No one. Series no one. Oh, I mean, okay. I, I'm sure they mean number one, but technically it's series no one. No one. No one. It came out in 1984. 666 Worldwide. They were evil as heck, man. They really are. I mean, it doesn't get much more evil. It's worldwide. It's not just localized. No. <laughs> you know? <laughs> <laughs> Um, That's pretty serious. I know. I don't see what it says here. Let the spirits guide the mind till Manitou ascends. Manitou. Uh, I always thought this was funny. I kind of put two and two together, but I always thought back in the early days of Venom when, you know, they didn't put their real names on their records. Mm -hmm. Kronos, Abaddon, Mantis. And they were... They don't have real names. Yeah, well, they created the, all the songs. The first, the first time I ever checked out i was like lant dunn bray so they don't write their own songs <laughs> <laughs> it's not written by mantis of gross well, you know was... i refuse to accept that they have real names <laughs> yeah here's a good one classic new york hardcore that really doesn't get any kind of mention everywhere even though jesse mallon does get mentioned for other things that he did but no one ever really mentions this kind of an interesting record cover but uh this is a good record, and uh, it's pretty punk. They were, you know, pretty technically hardcore, but they uh, they played really fast. It was interesting about this record, but they didn't have the hardcore beat. Wow. It was more like, bah, bah, bah. it just kind of went crazy. I don't think they knew what they were doing. So here we have English cunts. Well, Jesse himself <laughs> may not want to remember stuff like that. Malcolm and the a bunch of English cunts. Yeah. Um, he might be like, ooh, Whoops. people will still think I'm a cool guy. But this is a good record. I just ruined it for you, Jesse. Sorry. Uh, I'm saying it's a good record. We're here so. to ruin people's careers. Uh, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, this is cool. Serious Clown Records. Check that out. I like it. Mm -hmm. I don't think this was ever repressed. So I was going to say it's an OG press, but I don't think there's such a thing as a second press. What do you say, Beach? What do you Beach? think, Manwich? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> say it again. <laughs> Man, which is like kind of upset about something for yeah, some reason. He's not enjoying this. He's really not happy about this. Maybe he doesn't like heart attacks that much. You're more of a degeneration guy. Pull this one out. I don't really care. Little oh, whoa, whoa. Well, we're on camera. Oh. Little controversial, but I don't care. I actually put this together, the graphics, this record. I'll show you my name in the credits. Um, I don't know the story. Somebody had already started and then Harley needed help doing the rest of it so i did it's a pretty cool record this is actually kind of an unsung overlooked record. record but it's really good yeah it sounds like chromags his voice is charge. really good on this yeah his voice is really good the songs are really good it's kind of a shame that no one really paid attention to this record for some reason but it's really good and uh if you here's the inserts oh boy lyrics um I'm trying to find where I'll edit this out. Yeah. Here we go. Okay. okay. Here we have front cover photo, blah blah blah, back cover photo. Blah blah blah. Art and Lamp, Samantha, somebody. And this guy, this fine gentleman. I know that guy. Yeah. Still has that website. Yeah. Hmm. So. Oh. Whoa. Wait, wait, wait. What? Uh oh. Uh -oh. Look at these. Oh my goodness. Those are cool. Where can I get one of those? You can get one of these at chestymalone.bigcartel dot com nice These are cool. all right everybody what you have that? survived vlog three vlog, vlog three. Three. three uh where we talked part one of our record collection yeah so this that's was about not all we got for you this time and uh we remember we talked about our catchphrase each is each shit